Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Already got someone in the chat. Welcome. Thank you for your uh, comment on the intro. I'm glad you like it. I'm so happy to be here. This is my very first... <laughs> <laughs> hey Crowbar, how are you? Zenobia, welcome, thank you for coming. Drosha. <laughs> it's so awesome to see you guys here. Thank you so much for coming. This is our very, very, very first Twitch stream. I'm so excited. I am definitely nervous. Hopefully everything sounds alright to you guys. Like... I <laughs> Thank you so much for coming over. Um, we're going to get into some Conquest 7 on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes today. Um, again, thank you guys for coming over. I'm, I'm loving that we've got this chat happening. This is great. Hopefully everything sounds good and you're enjoying the channel. Now, while you're here, I just want to do a quick little bit of housekeeping to start off with. If you have gone and had a look at the channel, um, hopefully you have clicked follow on there. Um, I don't know what the schedule is going to be with this yet. Awesome. Thank you, Crowbar. Thank you for following, buddy. Um, yeah, those follows are much, much appreciated. Uh, we are going to also um, have available for you guys a link over to my YouTube channel. Thank you for following, Drosher. It's awesome. Thanks, mate. Um, I, it's so cool to see these little um, following notifications come up. How cool is that? <laughs> I've been working on this stuff literally all day trying to set up these um, my my studio for Twitch, which has been a massive undertaking. Big thank you to Zenobia who has been helping me throughout the day. Um, she's also here and is going to look at the chat and <laughs> tells me that she's going to have to deal with some stuff there, plus potentially, so thank you to her for that, um, all, as always, for all of her help. Now, back to the channel. You can go over there and there is a link over to my YouTube channel as well. If you are interested in going and seeing the content over there, then um, it's always much appreciated to see you guys there as well. Subscribe, comment on those videos and like them and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm so excited to get into this stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy to me. I'm a boomer, I'm told. <laughs> so <laughs> this whole thing is the, the interwebs is very new to me and um, <laughs> we'll, um, we'll get around it. All right, let me take a look at this chat here. Mike is good, thank you mate. Awesome, thanks Zan. Sounds good, coming through great. She, she does have mod power, so be afraid. <laughs> Alright, cheers guys, have a drink. I hope you've got one. If you don't, go and grab one. As we warm up to get into this conquest. Now the last thing I wanted to say about this page is that I have set up a place where you can click and go and donate if you would like to to the channel that just allows me to pay back the tremendous amount of debt that i have now accrued setting up this computer system <laughs> now uh, obviously there's absolutely no pressure there to do that at all i'm just happy to come and hang out with you guys but if you want to do it then that option is there for you okay now let's um let's bump over to the game here and do some gaming guys so, we're going to be on my main account today. Awesome, look at, we've got our chat we know coming up here now. This is cool. You're gonna have, you, you guys are going to have to deal with me just sort of being amazed and surprised by everything that happens here on Twitch while we go <laughs> through this stuff because it is, it's amazing. It really is crazy. Okay, so Galactic Battles, Conquest. Now, I haven't done any of this yet. This is completely... From scratch, I haven't watched any videos on it. I have obviously been keeping up with a lot of the... <laughs> my mobile... No, this is on a PC. I use a um, emulator. So, um... Uh, it's, it's Bluestack. So, yeah, it's, it, it comes up on my PC. And I get to show you guys in 60 frames per second a, a much better quality stream. So, yeah. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, this is going to be completely new. Um, as I said, I, w I was keeping up with the dev comments and stuff like that on this having some changes to the difficulty in it and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be interested to see what we'll be dealing with there. 
Uh, hopefully it's not too much harder because I hate things being hard. <laughs> but anyway, let's start off with some data discs, huh? How are you guys going today? Is everyone, is everyone good? Are you excited? Excited to hang out in real time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be dealing with my own moderator trolling me in the chat I can see. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> I was doing normal and yes, I saw you in the Discord say that, um, Crowbar today. That's absolutely crazy that you were doing normal mode and a Garazed Relic Zero hit you for 110k and knocked your jolly out. Made redundant. Oh man. That's no good, man. I hope you get better soon. Have you, you said you've got it? We love the moderator trolls. Good. <laughs> She's that kind of chick. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, let's have a read through some of these data disks. So, opportunistic support 2. Whenever an ally attacks out of turn, all allies are going to gain 4% health. I like that straight off the bat. Weak point. Whenever an ally attacks, they gain 4% offense for every debuff on all characters. That would definitely lend itself to using Darth Revan, which is a team that I tend to use off the, off the bat here in these conquests. I like this one for Padme, but I more use Padme on my Celestium account rather than this one. And we're definitely not going for opportunistic support. One. Uh, we got a weak point again, vitality, 27% max health and protection, and we've got power. Okay. Well, I'm kind of thinking this weak point now. Oh, bad batch. I straight, straight off the bat, Relic 4, complete bad batch squad. That is, um, that's rough. <laughs> or we can go with the good old fashioned... Um, Palp led Sith team there. Well, we've got Bo Katan led Mandalorians in the middle. What do you guys want to see? No worries, Josh. I will see you back. Mandalorians. Bad Batch. That's the one I'm most scared for. Or the old school Sith. Slash Empire. I'm thinking Bo Katan teams are hard because their max health keeps getting higher. Okay. I mean, I want to try it. <laughs> I haven't fought this team before, so I feel like we give it a crack. Timer. Five minutes. We have a quick game to you. Oh, I haven't... I didn't select my thing. That's why I'm having issues. Here we go. Commit to that. Let's equip it. Alright. Back. Here we go. Middle... Middle path. I'm gonna give it a crack. 20 energy. So this is something that the devs said that we're gonna be doing is, um... Increasing the energy required for each battle, which is a bummer. It used to be 15, they've kicked that up by five. And they've said this is to stop people basically one-shotting Conquest and then not, not having to deal with it for the rest of the month. All right, so we're going in with Darth Revan. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm off the bat first, which I always love. I want to shut that armorer down because I don't want to put in any of that Beskar over on anybody else. Get some fear on the board if we can. I'll start reading the modifiers and stuff like that if they start giving me issues, but I'm hoping... Beautiful. <laughs> that I should be able to do something like that. <laughs> Hey, Confused Bear, how are you? Thank you for coming. <laughs> Good to see you. Awesome. Come at a good time, I just wiped out my first squad. AP Gains, I love that name. Howdy, how are you? 
Echo Smith, welcome in. Thanks for coming. Ah, it's awesome to see so many people here on the first stream. This is great. Thanks for coming. Okay. We've got Thrawn Empire. Or gas. What do you guys want to see me fight? <laughs> 2 a.m. for you. Whereabouts are you? That is... Thank you for coming so early in the morning. That's, um... That's commitment. I love that. <laughs> California. Oh, nice. It's good to see I'm grabbing a, a couple of Americans still. Thank you for coming. Alright, team. Gas or Thrawn? Thrawn is easy. Gas is a little bit harder. I don't think we could do that with Darth Revan. If we want to keep the Darth Revan train going, I think we've got to go down here. Um... Alright, awesome. Let's jump in and do this, hey? Alright, let me grab a sip of the Admiral's drop here. Ah. Okay. Let's do it. Big hit. Not as big as I was hoping for, but that's fine. <laughs> now we better start getting some work done on this Vader. He hasn't got much turn meter, so I might. Uh, Ron's got fear, so we'll go to Vader. Let's give him the slurp. Oh, big hit on Fallen. Alright, hopefully we can slurp him dead. Wonder what this thing is up here. Oh, he's got Merciless Massacre on. Alright. We'll give him the slurp and see if we can take him out before he can get any of that off. Beautiful! Okay. We're being taunted, unfortunately. It is! My very first ever stream. You've come to the debut. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Alright, that's another nice easy battle down. So far so good, Tim. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers, I spent all day today working on it and probably about half of the day yesterday. Horizon, welcome in, buddy. No, you're not too late, mate. You've only missed a couple of battles of uh, glorious destruction. Thank you so much, Crowbar. I really appreciate that, man. Um... Back up against the Mandalorians again, so that we can get access to all the options of those data disks. What made me decide to start? That's an interesting question, you know? Um, I think... I have a friend who is in our guild, actually. He's uh, he's one of the officers in Chewy on Bat, for those of you who have come over from my um, Swago guild. Um, Obi-Juan Kurobi. And... Um, I think he's the first person who sort of suggested it to me and got me thinking about it. What do we got there? Fomp is following. Thank you, Fomp. Awesome to have you, buddy. I just came for the RTX. We're working on it, mate. Slowly, slowly. <laughs> and then Fomp told me that he needed an RTX, so he said Twitch was the way to do that, and so here we are. <laughs> we all need those damn graphics cards. You know what I actually need more than a graphics card? I need a... Um, I need a bigger SSD. I've only got a 500 gig SSD and that so far is um, definitely feeling the strain of the couple of games that I'm playing. I'm <laughs> but um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll be able to clone my current one over to like a one or two terabyte SSD, that'd be much better. It, it does come after the RTX, we do have to get our uh, <laughs> um, priorities in order. My computer is basically a microwave, so I feel the pain. <laughs> it's hilarious. As long as you clean it, mate. A clean microwave is the key. Already getting to the big questions 10 minutes into the stream. I love it, you know what I mean? We're, we're gonna chill. Um, keep the questions coming, because I am so keen for you guys to get to know me, and I'm also wanting to get to know you, and this is a great way we can do it. Like, in YouTube, it's kind of colder in the way that I put these videos out there and there's sort of no one to interact with in real time and now you guys have a chat window and we can chat together and I can actually respond to you as I'm 
doing the stream. Um, we're also going to upload this to um, YouTube as a video as well, just, you know, because we can. <laughs> and um, I'm really enjoying it. Thanks, thanks everyone for coming. Hopefully I'm not saying that. If I'm saying that too often, then let me know and um, I'll stop saying <laughs> I could, and that is something we could do in the future. Um, but I thought it might be cool to sort of get some more um, platforms going, you know, as opposed to just YouTube. It might be cool to come over to Twitch, and um, I think there's a pretty cool community over here that we could see if we can fit into, and yeah. Ah, uh, nice, you used to stream on on YouTube, did you, Crowbar? You're gonna stream from the hot tub. <laughs> you have no idea how many people have asked me that. <laughs> I know about the hot tub. And look, we'll see how we go on these donations. <laughs> if you guys want a hot tub, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm not putting any promises out there, even if you do give them. All right, let's get into another battle before we get too boring here, all right? Uh, what are we even fighting? Mandalorians again. Darth Revan's been pulling his weight so far, so I think we're just going to keep going here. <laughs> you can pay to see that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's go in. Boom. The, uh, we got a nice amount of fear happening, that's good. Let's try and shut it down, excellent. Get some more shock on the table. And let's see if Basilic can finish everybody. <laughs> so cool. Another little extra pop from HK there. This is pretty easy so far. They said they were going to up the difficulty on us, but... So far I feel good with it. <laughs> Flask, I need that hot tub content. <laughs> He streamed on Twitch twice and it was rough. Man, I, I hope it's not rough for me. Hopefully you guys look after me. <laughs> Alright, so we got some access to some more data disks now. Um, entrenched. I do love this one. I use this a lot. At the start of the encounter, all allies gain protection up. With 50% until they're defeated. Which can't be dispelled or prevented. This is excellent on a Padme team again. Small computer, uh, community than YouTube, sadly, so I guess only. Ah. <laughs> oh, well, maybe we'll grow it. Ah, oh, thanks, Crowbar. That's awesome to hear. Excellent. I'm so glad it, it looks good to you guys. If it's not looking good, then I wouldn't expect you to stay here, so. <laughs> if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it right. Steadfast focus. Allies are immune to ability block, daze, and stun for two turns at the start of the battle. That could be really good down the line. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the third here. It's gonna be silent. <laughs> um, I mean, it's easy now, but this could really help us down the track. Let's see what we got up top here. Vitality, we get 35% max health and protection. That's always a good one to have a couple of in the bank. Ruthless offense. Go all out squad buffs, become resistance. <laughs> so choose other, I'm always on the bad side of luck. <laughs> Bump, you're on the good side of luck, mate, and I know why. <laughs> Ruthless Lock Man. When an enemy falls below 100% health, all allies gain 13% offense. That could actually be good. I wonder if that stacks for each enemy. Thermal Exhaust. Whenever an enemy gains 5 debuffs, they gain a stack of Thermal Detonator. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? I'm so I'm so far thinking entrenched. But I know you can get these in like a blue 2.1. Vitality. Anything with Ruthless is worth having a few of. You like the max health and protection? I do enjoy these too, but they uh, in previous conquests they have been fairly common. 
So I usually don't stress out about getting them too early. Actually, you know what? A Darth Revan team can always use a little bit of extra health and protection, especially Bastila Shan. She did almost get one shot just before. And AP Gain said anything with Ruthless is worth having a few of. Does um, Ruthless Swiftness and Ruthless Deliberation are broken? Well, now you make me want to get it. <laughs> Oh no, I've, we've got Ruthless Offense here, so you almost... Choose Fomptiality. Oh my god. That would just kick the entire Conquest out of the game. So... <laughs> the developers would have to shut it down and bring it back after another week again. <laughs> it was a shaky start, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright. Let's do... I, I mean, you said it was broken, so now I want it. I like broken things. We're going to uh, equip the Ruthless Offense. And I'm guessing that we're going to have some more opportunities for some Vitality further up the line here. The Kenobi led Galactic Republic team. Broken things and Cat Girls. I also like Cat Girls, but sure, Eisen, we don't talk about that here. <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard you like a Cat Girl yourself there, buddy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, Darth Revan shouldn't have <laughs> any problems here. Oh my god. We're into the cat girls already. I knew we would be. <laughs> I didn't suspect it would be this set. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Alright, a little bit faster than me. That tenacity is going to mean it's going to be difficult to get any shock or fear going. Oh, look at that. We've got fear across the board. All that matters. All right, let's get rid of this taunt. I want to get onto Yoda if I can. <clears throat> Kill. All right. Got a death mark on Kenobi. Finish him off. And we'll get HK to do the job there. Nice and easy. Did you guys say you were having trouble with this? Where's this one-shot Garazeb that's supposed to come and destroy my entire team? <laughs> We're almost up to... Oh, that's right, they've got midway bosses now. So I've got to beat a midway boss and then the end boss. <laughs> this account is far from OP broken, mate, trust me. Um... Way too hard now. I have two or three good teams. Yeah, Crowbar, you know, it's... I always say that it's not the quantity of teams that you have, but the quality of the few that you do have. Always go hard on one team at a time. You know, I've raved about this a lot in my YouTube um, videos before, but, you know, you, you really have to have a couple of squads up to full Relic if we get some time, we might even bump over to my um, Celestium account, and um, that one only has access to the normal mode, because it has um, around about 2 million GP now. Unfortunately, I crossed the 2 million GP threshold. It was a sad day. But um, we could we could have a look there, and I can show you how my Padme, you know, has at least in the past done very well before. All right, let's catch up on what you guys are saying here. Like two or three good teams, that's good. I'm at 100% completion, all feats done, and max rewards already! Wow! The feat that caused me the most hassle was the 700% TMR, is that turn meter against... Oh, Sith Eternal Emperor, particularly as him and Vader are immune to turn meter removal. Okay. Wow, that does sound tough. And was that hard mode? Well, Conquest is all quantity, <laughs> that's true, it is. Um, you do have to do a lot of battles over and over again, but you're going in fresh each time. It's just that you you lose, you know, that, um, what do they call it? You Each time you use a team, it slowly becomes, it like a bar runs out and you can't, yeah, stam stamina probably. Yeah, you can't use it again after its stamina runs out. So you do have to plan around that, but you're probably going to run out of energy before you run out of stamina, I suspect. 
Um, like, geez, how many battles have we done and I'm already halfway through my energy? This, this energy demand now on this game mode is crazy, so... Okay, what have we decided we were going for here? Have we even read it yet? Steadfast focus. Allies are immune to ability block there. Yeah, I feel like we read that. Insatiable defensive formation. Whenever an ally attacks out of turn order. Yeah. Hope the conquest with CG mode. Yeah, it's definitely been a shaky start for this one, probably because of all the changes they've tried to make. Um now it's like 20 minutes for 1% and you need 10% to battle. But you are super weak, so you have to wait so long to attack if you don't have too many teams. Yeah, right. So, oh, you have to wait 20 minutes for 1% of your stamina to come back, and you need 10% to battle. Yeah. But you have to wait so long to attack. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Crowbar, look, the game is definitely a long grind, man. Um, <laughs> what can I say other than whale harder? <laughs> That's what Arnold would say anyway. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's figure out what we're going to do here. None of these have really tickled my interest. Yep, here we go. Got my mouse over the wrong screen. Shocking exhaust. Ruthless offense when an enemy falls below 100% health, all allies gain 13% offense. That's what we just picked up, right? So we don't need another one of those. Um, whenever an enemy gains 10 debuffs, they gain shock for two turns. I think that's going to take a while to really kick off. Steadfast focus? I think we're going to go steadfast focus. What do you guys think? Um, I'm just reading the chat here, guys. <laughs> My wife has to wait 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I should read that one out loud. <laughs> uh, that <is> very... <laughs> oh no, font. <laughs> oh my god. You, th you think you have bad luck, but I think you bring it across yourself with this stuff, mate. <laughs> Alright, we're going steadfast focus because you guys don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> Alright, let's apply that. Now, is this costing me energy to apply it? Have you guys got any information for me around that? Because I thought the devs said in one of their updates that to apply these data disks was actually going to cost energy now. I've got 65. If I hit confirm, I've still got 65. Okay, it costs when I remove them. Alright, so that's fine. I'm not going to be doing any of that. I don't think. Unless there's something super, super cool that we encounter that we have to get. Okay. Oh my god, the same battles again and again and again. Oh, here's something we can mix it up with. What are we going to be forced to do after that? A Mon Mothma. We can do a Mon Mothma. Alright. Let's do some separatists just to mix it up a bit, hey? Yeah, yeah, you can definitely spend the crystals for some more energy. I've got 200 saved up for this stream so that, you know, we can get more than two and a half battles in. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Okay, here we go. My turn. Bang. Bang. Still can't hit anybody but that. I keep forgetting the name of this little tank that comes out. Oh no, am I gonna lose my my guy? Am I off the taunty yet? Yeah, okay, sweet. So let's put I'm gonna get a counter off Dooku. Maybe if I don't target him. Pretty sure I'm still going to get it. Oh, nice. Malik took it. What a legend. Ah, uh, I still lost him anyway. Damn. Oh, well, that's a star we've dropped. That's another star we've dropped. <laughs> Was this a terrible idea to go for the Separatists? I should have been attacking this Grievous. One. Here we go. All right, we can take off that shield or kill him. 
double tap. Cool. We're gonna pull through. Bip, bip, bip. Big hit there. Oh man, these droids annoy me. Just die. Can't win. An unwinnable situation for you. This is it. No, it's not. Let's give him a shock. Alright, let's give him a tap. There we go. We're out of there, thank you. Alright, what are you guys on about? <laughs> um, you bought $500 worth of energy. <laughs> then slept okay on the couch. <laughs> yeah, I know why you went to sleep on the couch after that one. My wife would have killed me. She would have slit my throat. <laughs> oh my god. That's a broke college kid, I <laughs> I know, yeah, if I had $500, that would be what? Do you think about one eighth of my 3080 horizon? <laughs> No worries, mate. Thank you so much for coming, and hopefully we'll catch you in another one. I'll keep you all updated, of course, on when we're going to be back. But we're still going for now, obviously. Nobody else leave. Only only you have the whole pass, AP Gains. Thanks for coming, though. <laughs> See you later. All right. Let's kill Mon Mothma. We're down to 50% vitality here now. Also, guys, just a quick reminder, if you are here in the channel watching the stream, but you have not yet hit follow, I would love you forever, until the day that I die, and perhaps even beyond, if you would hit that follow button for me. That'd be awesome. Okay. My go. What do we attack first in this situation? I'm thinking... Power? We'll do power. Give him the slurp. Man, I really need to relic my Sith Empire Trooper. He's definitely letting the team down. Okay. Team down. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's Biston. I thought I was seeing double there for a second. Has anyone got shock here? Doesn't look like it. We might... Yeah, we'll, we'll stay here. It doesn't matter, I think. Let's just put the AOE on. Okay, we've got shock now. That'll be it. 2,400 fake dollars. That's a lot of Ryzen, damn. <laughs> She's probably watching just to make sure you don't get any ideas. I told her to watch, but she wasn't back in time to be able to download Twitch and create an account to watch. So I'm in here on my own. Anything could happen at the moment. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> You're Canadian anyway, you don't mind. <laughs> okay. What are we up against now, a Padme? Yeah, this is still the chosen team for a Padme, I think. Mate, you haven't healed me for a month. So I feel like I've already... Um... I've already done that. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, Mr. Asian Man too. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Alright, how we do I haven't been focusing on this battle at all here. How are, how are we actually going here? We're locked behind this Kenobi. Oh, they've got an R2-D2. That's why they're stealthing. All right. I could slurp, but what I'm going to do is this so I can get rid of that taunt. And then we're going to go over here and throw the AoE. Um, another AoE. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Bye, Padme. Thanks for coming. All right. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I am going to agree with that one, Dosha. <laughs> I can to know dear, it's alright, I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, look at this, we got our first feat, a touch of darkness. Win with a full squad of dark side units and we get a whole thing. An extra thing, what are these called, can anyone tell me? 
No, no, no. Look, come on. We're not going to have a healer strike. For those of you who don't know what a couple of these people are going on about in the chat here, I played Final Fantasy XIV with a couple of these guys, and I'm a terrible DPS. So they have to basically carry me through all of these raids that we do together, dungeons rather, and um, attempt to heal me. And it's great fun for me. And I think them as well. So, you know, they like to complain. But they're having a good time. I think I'm going to hang on to my, my tickets because as much as I'd love some incomplete signal data and a razor crest, I'd rather start farming the brand new mall and I still have also got some work to do on Ahsoka, the new commander of Ahsoka Tano. So we're just going to figure out what battle we want to do here. I'm not keen to go up against Separatists, especially with a Wat Tambor in the mix. Because they took away tickets from us. Oh, we can get a consumable here if we go there. Bear with me one sec. Ah, thanks, honey. Cheers. My young man's trying to break in. We might have a little visitor later on. Alright. Um... What am I focusing on again? Let's have a look at the chat. Let's just say we're investigate. Wait, investing in a titanium spatula? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, the normal ones wear out too fast, scraping you off the floor. <laughs> anyway, wants to chip in for Carrie Celeste. I'm sorry, ask through Dungeons Fund. Let me know. Have you set up that PayPal account? Have you, Horizon? Thanks, mate. God, I love my friends. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Um, I haven't actually committed to one of these, right? So we're going to commit to the top one. I'm not going to get anything because I want to hold my tickets for better stuff. No, I'm not regretting it. As you always say, Zenobia, I am here to be ripped on. I enjoy it secretly. My my thing. <laughs> oh my god, we're already into our first purchase of energy. There we go. Let's go in and do it. Are we sticking with Darth Revan? Does vitality... I, I thought I saw someone say this. The more my vitality goes down for this team, do they lose their stats, or is it just my ability to use them in further battles? <laughs> The stats go down a lot. Is that the case? I didn't know that. So should I be... Maybe I should be swapping my teams out. A little bit more. <laughs> um, I'm going to start ignoring my moderator. <laughs> She's starting a, um, a revolt against me. Click on their plugins at the bottom of them. These little things. Oh my god. When your allies are victorious in battle, they will lose stamina. Allies with lower stamina have reduced stats. That's why I haven't been going first. Because my Darth Revan is fast. Stamina refills over time, but sometimes you'll want to win immediately. You can use stim packs to regain some stamina. I cannot believe we are up to Conquest 7 and I'm only just learning of this. <laughs> Um, do you have any farming suggestions for hard no tunes? Hard no tunes. D well, I mean, you've already seen how effective it is for Darth Revan to get through here. Darth Revan is still such an effective character in the game. The only downside to chasing him, if you haven't got him already, is that he's useless without Darth Malak as well. And Darth Malak is a far more difficult farm because... What you're going to have to do is not only one of the more difficult journey guide quests in the game, which are going to require you to gear fairly highly some trash characters, but after that you're only going to unlock him at 5 stars. <clears throat> so at that point in time you're going to have to get those Mark 1 guild tokens farmed up so that you can buy the Darth Malik shards from the guild token store 
from there. So then you've got like ages before you get your five star Malik up to seven star. That being said, if you gear Malik all the way up to gear 11 at five star, he's still quite useful. Like the guy is such a broken character in this game. So there is that sort of little consolation that you get with the Darth Revan farm. At some point in the game, you're going to want to do it because as I say, it's just such an effective team to have this, you know, Darth Revan, uh, Darth Malik, Basil Shan Fallen, HK47, and then your last one you can swap out. Um, you know, some people go to the Sith Marauder. Hi, Gold TV. Thanks for coming. It's awesome to see you. Kind of stopped by Gas Farm because the set droids were annoying to farm, and I'm slowly pushing towards SAE now because I think it, uh, you need a GL. What's your GP, Crowbar? <clears throat> JKF is following. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate those. 3.1 million. Yeah, you can you can start thinking about a Galactic Legend soon. It, I wouldn't be stressing it. You know what I mean? Like, I really think that you want to have a, a really good foundation of solid journey guide teams completely done before you have to start basically conforming to what the game is going to tell you you need to gear up in order to get a galactic legend which is very much the way this game has now gone before it was like yes we were always chasing the new meta character and all that kind of stuff but it, it never really had these steep steep requirements oh my god my <laughs> flask is donated thank you so much man for that donation it's that's, that's my first ever one. You, you've cracked my donation cherry. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. Um, now I'm totally distracted. <laughs> what was I saying? I never expected to get a donation. That's blown me away. Um, someone remind me what I was talking about in this chat here. Do you have a loadout with the Mandalorian best car? So into the series right now. Um, I, I'm currently working on Mandalorian Beskar. I've only got two more characters before I'm going to start doing the unlock for him. Perhaps that's something we can stream together here on Twitch. Um, once I've got all the requirements finished, I'd love to um, jump on here and we can do the event together. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, but get, you know, just so summarize, you know, get a, get a good solid foundation of journey guide characters that are good solid sort of mid tier characters down your Padme, your Darth Revan, your Jedi Knight Revan, um, you know, there's others that you can throw in there. And then once you've got that good solid foundation down and those teams are all relic, you know, to around about that mid tier, you know, I would say relic three minimum, but relic five is even better. And then for a Darth Revan team, I highly recommend you do your Revan and your Malik up to seven, um, which I am going to work on for this account very, very soon. Um, but once you've got those down, then go for a Galactic Legend because the way that you play the game is going to change drastically. It's going to become, I have to now do all of these characters that I wouldn't otherwise have done just to get access to the event. You're not actually going to use hardly any of the characters that you've been forced to relic up to these ridiculous levels in the events that, um, you know, to unlock the Galactic Legends. So, you know, the, the game kind of changes when you go after a Galactic Legend and it can burn people out if you don't have a good solid game to fall back on. So, you know, ha have some awesome teams that, you know, really allow you to enjoy enjoy all aspects of the game without having to go, oh, I need this GL before I can actually start playing the game, is, would be my advice on that. And hopefully I haven't done a, a too long a rant on that. Okay, let's move on. Stim packs can be purchased from the Conquest store. Tap on the button. Uh, yeah, and we can go there now. Okay, so basically what we have learned is that my stats are going down heavily as my stamina goes down, which has blown my mind. Uh, what do we got here? Mandalorian 2. I reckon we'll get one more battle out of Darth Revan with this. And then we'll look into changing teams. Ah! Alright. Yeah, look how slow they're moving now. 
I definitely was noticing the stat changes, but I was thinking, oh, maybe the other team's just getting faster as I go further along the board, but there you go. All right, I always like to get this armor off the board first. If you guys have a better strategy, definitely let me know. Oh my god. Maybe I have asked too much of this team. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't want to lose Battle of Fallen. Keep taunting Malik, thank you. Maybe I need to get rid of that Candorous just in case he drops another AoE. There's not much I can do about Django at the moment. These two are under fear though. I hate changing my strategy mid-battle, but I'm going to do it. Let's go there. Let's go there with Revan's AoE. Um, I think the AoE is going to be the better option here. Ah, oh, damn. Don't have shock there. That's such a bummer. Alright, I'm just going to go to basic. Alright. Okay, we're doing okay. Hopefully we're only dropping a ticket for this one. Let's finally get rid of this armor. Ditch Sabine, and now we can do the final work on Django. Big hit. Done. Oh, 700,000 damage from HK47. What a legend, even with his stats compromised. <laughs> okay. What do we think? Okay, so, consumables time. Got no choice but to commit to it. Overcharged critical damage booster. Overcharged critical damage booster. <laughs> oh, these are gonna cost me crystals? Oh no, okay, yeah, tickets. I'm not willing to spend either of those things on this stuff yet. Alright, we're gonna keep punching through. Alright, we got some clones. And we got Mon Mothma. Let's do the clones to change it up a little bit. What should I bring against the clones, guys? I'll show you what squads we're working with here. We have GL Ray. This is, I'll call this the A-Team squad because this has got um, my Luke, my Gas. This is kind of my squad arena team. And then this is the trash team that I'll put her in with if I want to keep. Because there's so many leaders in this team, this is like four teams in one here. So it's really inefficient GL to have Ray, unfortunately, because you have to have so many other meta characters with her. Um, so this is the team I put her in, but she doesn't. she definitely doesn't hold well there. We can use gas, 5 0 first. Uh, we can use Her Majesty, Padme. I know there's a few fans of Padme in this chat. <laughs> we have Grievous. I'm thinking more conservatively now that I know about this vitality thing. I'm th Use my good rebels in case you guys were wondering. I still need to work up my. Um, C3PO Chewbacca, Chewbacca tune to really get this team sort of working well. I'll drop out R2D2. Actually, I usually use C3PO with Padme, so R2D2 is probably going to stay there. What are we thinking? We'll just do the easy thing and we'll go in with gas. Alright, here we go. Let me fill out. Ah! While we load in. You guys all still with me? Alright, here we are. Fives, we're gonna call gas for the assist. Horizon's not here anymore, damn. Where does he go, bro? <laughs> Everybody know I got bear. <laughs> Ah, uh, just dying in Guild Wars 2. <laughs> Are you getting help from our friend, Zen? Or is he slacking me right now? Is he working out? <laughs> yeah, let's, um... Let's call him Verandas. I'm, I'm always, um... Hesitant about whether people want their names said in a situation like this. My default is no. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So that's Gas against the clones.
So far, so good. We've dropped a couple of tickets so far, but I think we're doing okay. How many have we got so far? 482. I'm looking forward to finally getting access to some more lore. Ahsoka Tano shards. I'm trying to understand the words coming out of everyone mounts here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good luck with that. Oh man, I think we have to do it. I think we have to go up against these Bad Batch because... All great to me. <laughs> um, I'm really interested to see if they could destroy my gas. Disappointed if they do, but I've heard that they are a fantastic team and I do not yet have them, so I'm not certain on how they work. I do know that Echo is pretty key, and there he goes doing his key thing. <laughs> Freak makes more sense than some of his rambles. <laughs> Are you talking about me now? Wow. Oh, yeah, I'm rambling on about this game. I, I, I didn't even realize you were picking on me. I should have assumed that straight off the bat. I thought you were talking about Guild Wars people or something. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Guild, Guild Wars people could be Greek. <laughs> Alright, well they're not causing me too much troubles just yet. Get rid of tech. Did anyone watch the Bad Batch? What did you guys think of that? I was thinking about potentially doing a um, YouTube video kind of reviewing it, but then I realized how much editing that would be, and I got tired after the thought. <laughs> uh, we can we can mirror match a gas. I still don't want to spend tickets yet, so I'm happy to come down here and get some more data discs. Let's, um, let's mirror match this gas. Oh, it's got an Ahsoka in it. Probably as an opposed to a... What do you call those guys? Arc Trooper? The standard Arc Trooper who calls this guy... Oh no, they've got an Arc Trooper. <laughs> Obviously, so who are we missing here? Are we missing fives? That looks like Rex, that's Echo. I hate that they made the UI like that. It gives me <laughs> some flashbacks to my Zodiac lovely x <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What, uh, <laughs> what UI? <laughs> you mean in, in, in Heroes? When you're looking through your, um, your character? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys crack me up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've gotten used to it. I, um... <laughs> I, I like... Here's what I like about it. I like that I can easily navigate through both my character and my ship roster in the one tab. I used to hate having to go across and across and across to try and get to the ship section. That was so frustrating. I mean, it's lazy talk. Ah, oh, he's five, so it, we must be missing Rex now. So we'll call in gas, he's still up. He hasn't gone to sleep yet. I hate user-friendly makeovers. You like things being hard? <laughs> things casual and all people into the game. <laughs> oh, burn! <laughs> I hate casual people. <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> Yes, that's right, you don't. You never had an excuse anyway, because you've been going after Galactic Legion Ray. So you have to do ships. They're forcing me to do ships on my alt account now as well, because I'm trying to go after gas. Uh, we're gonna call in somebody, probably this guy. All right. Ugh, my vibes is taunting. Yeah, that's alright. Boop! That's done. That's how you take out a gas with a gas. What are you not going to say, Zenobia? Just say it. This is not the time or the place to hold back. 
<laughs> okay. We haven't got the best data discs to choose from right here. Oh, we've got some vitality. I know Fomp wanted me to get that. 27% max health and protection. We'll pick that up. We need some vitality, especially seeing as how apparently my vitality is being drained from me. Unbelievable. Somebody think they wanted to make this game mode hard. That they call it hard mode. All right. More clones. We've got a couple battles left. Then we're going to have to do another reset and I think we'll take out the force first boss we're going to take a look at the second stage and sort of see what the jump and difficulty is here for the hard mode conquest hmm, I'm not sure about this song how do you guys feel about it skip it I feel like it's weird. <laughs> Point arc trooper so we can get the double assist. Awesome. Oh man, I really want to... Oh my god, I lost my fives. He didn't even sacrifice... Oh wait, did he sacrifice for Rex? I think he did. HK47, beware meatbags. Welcome. <laughs> You're angry right now, man. I hope you feel uh, well. Hang out here. Hopefully, we can um, we can turn that mood around. Welcome. We're just chilling on some conquest. I want to get rid of this Rex before it one shots somebody. Bam! There we go. There's Gas doing those beautiful counter attacks. Excellent! <laughs> it would have been better, JKF, if you said it after hello there rather than hello, hello. But I appreciate the reference. <laughs> I'm a stickler for that law. You've got to get it right, man. <laughs> uh, Admiral's trying to kill me a sip at a time. Alright, so we can take out a Dooku-led Separatist team. Ooh, Night Sisters. We haven't done that yet. CG has crashed the game on your phone in the middle of remodding three times. Damn, man. Have you tried to do um, uninstall the app and reinstall? I know that's such a basic, stupid thing to say. You probably have, but... Only Ewoks? I'll tell you what, Horizon. You give me some incentive, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my healing privileges for five months without them being able to be revoked and I'll do it with Ewoks. <laughs> no teams, not times. Not sure what you mean by that one, HK. Deal? Alright. We're gonna we're gonna have to unfortunately drop a battle against these sisters because Horizon wants to see me do it with my with my kill bears! And they will kill these sisters. I'm confident that I will never... We haven't lost a match yet, and we're not going to start now. Here's my Ewoks. All gear 11 going up against gear 13 plus Knight Sisters. We've got three Zaders on the board. Um, F in the chat. <laughs> Here we go. That's 20 energy down the drain for you, bro. What? That was not a part of the deal. You just said fight them. Oh, it's too late, I'm already in there. Can't go back on the deal. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna sit back here and relax until I get a... Wicket's up front! He's in the lead! I wouldn't um, have anybody else in the lead of this. Oh my god, I'm get. Oh, Wicket! I actually don't have him here. No, no. It's Chief Chirper in the lead. I was slack when I was getting C-3PO and doing these Ewoks up and I wanted to do my Ewok Scout because I already had him at 7 star and I didn't want to have to uh, upgrade another Ewok just to get C-3PO. Yeah. But, um... 
<laughs> yeah, no, he sucks in comparison to Wicket, that's for sure. But, um... I got it done. <laughs> I just had to apply a lot of Zetas, way more than I should have. Oh, there's no zombie. I reckon I can win this, guys. Come on. Let's... <laughs> Let's bring somebody back from the dead. Damn. Damn. <laughs> this is such a tragedy. I didn't think this would happen. Oh my god. We have the party music banging and everything. I was feeling so good about it. Ah. Oh. We're going to write a letter about that. Look at that. I hate seeing this sign. <laughs> Horizon, you owe me energy for that, mate. You owe me 50 crystals. <laughs> mate. You better heal me after that. Every time I need healing in a dungeon, you're gonna come. You're at my beck and call now. All right, let's do these Night Sisters with somebody who can actually kill them. <laughs> oh my God. I never want to see these Ewoks on my screen again. Okay, who are we gonna do it with? Let's do it with Grievous. Tuscans only, <laughs> mate. You're out of requests, okay? <laughs> I don't know if my Tuscans would even be allowed because they're like hardly unlocked. <laughs> like a two and three star. <laughs> Alright. Who's gonna be the weakest here? Probably the. I don't wanna deal with the foresight. We're gonna go after Talia. Oh, wait, there's no zombie, so I can just go straight for Ducker. Here we go. Bap. Alright, let's keep our Magna Guard topped up here. Jawas, ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I actually have, I think, Gear 7, Gear 8 Jawas, so we might be able to do something with Jawas. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are killing me. If this is how it's gonna be on these streams, then I'm gonna have to gear up all of the trash teams, just so that you can't throw me any curveballs. You'll be like Jawas, and I'll be like, BLAM! Relegate Jawa <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're up to the boss man, Qui-Gon Jinn. GL Ray and Jawas? 100% I'll do that. 100%. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Ray. We'll do, it. we'll do this battle with Ray and the Jawas. Here we go. I tell you who needs a rework in this game is Qui-Gon Jinn. Man, you know what they could even do is bring out a Galactic Legend Qui-Gon Jinn. I would pay for that guy, or I'd make you guys pay me so I could pay for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> totally joking. Alright, come on in. Let's do it. Uh, we're gonna go Ray. Um, ah, let me go back. I haven't preloaded my Ray and Jawa squad, I don't know why. Okay, Jawas, let's do it. See, I've got gear 10 Jawas, or oh, two gear 10 Jawas, anyway. Here's my engineer, so he's got revives. Scavenger and Dathcha, with the Chief Nebit. Thank you, my number white side on the line. Makes more sense than Ray. Yeah, does it? He was still very much in the... a part of the Jedi Order. Well, I know that he refused to sit on the Council, but... Qui-Gon Jim. <laughs> I like that. Alright, shall we try and keep some of these Jawas alive? Who's gonna die first? Let's do that. Look at this taunt on, um... Oh, look at all this protection Ray's gonna give these Jawas. We're gonna get, like, a three-star battle out of this. What do these moves even do? Critical chance up, I'll buy that. Uh, yeah, let's put some bombs on the field. Okay, can't. Let's do that. <laughs> Most grey Jedi ever to the offer to seat on the council. You guys might have to link me some stuff to convince me because I feel like he was strongly light side, but I feel like he was one of the Jedi who noticed the council's 
I feel entrapment in the political corruption that was taking place in the Republic at that period of time, which led them to be completely manipulated by Sidious. Ah, oh, I, I love this topic. We, we will get on a tangent if you want to talk about this. <laughs> Horizon, I'd click on anything you sent me, mate. <laughs> All right, never taunts for two turns. We don't want you taunting, mate. You can just hit. <laughs> oh my god. Look at my Jawa surviving these hits from these relic characters. This is the power of Ray. Ray's keeping them alive. All right, shall we take a swing at Qui-Gon, see if we can kill him? Ah, bye, Qui-Gon. May the light of the or, the, or the grayness of the gray Jedi be with you, mate. <laughs> Absolutely light side. Oh, nice. We're going to do this and try and wipe everybody out. Um, absolutely light side, but saw the issues with the Jedi Order and went his own way where he saw fit. Yeah, for sure. But I... Th I feel like his tags would have to be Jedi Galactic Republic. Ah, oh, damn. I hit the taunt. What an idiot. <laughs> Alright, well... Actually, that might have been a strategy. Because I could have kept putting these on... Let's get rid of this Padme. Oh, look at that. Look at the power of Ray. <laughs> now, who owes me what for taking in those Jawas? Was that you, HK? I feel like you should send me a packet of Tim Tams, mate, with some milk, so I can slurp the milk through the Tim Tams. <laughs> Jawas carry Ray. <laughs> that they do, my friend. <laughs> that they do. Galactic Legend Jawas, that's what we need. <laughs> Alright, what can we get here? This is going to be an important pick, so I need you guys to focus and pick me a sweet data disc, alright? We don't want power. Quick reflexes. Makes as much sense as Ray, I'm all the Jedi Skywalker, yeah, and, and I wasn't a fan of that. I'm not sure how many people were a fan of that. You know what we might see, though, I'm thinking, is a, the generation of children now, when they grow up, and in like 15 to 18 years' time, they are like the solid fans of the sequel trilogy, and I'm like, I'm waiting to have arguments with my young kid who's two years old now. <laughs> <laughs> to see if he likes the sequels and how he can defend them in comparison to the original trilogy in the prequels. That's going to be hilarious. Um, they apply the detonators and Ray help them survive and Scavenger makes all of them explode. Boom. 100%. That's definitely what I saw go down in that last battle. We'll need a purge. I'm with the right on this one. All right. Quick reflexes. Um, whenever an ally gains 10 buffs, they gain foresight. Whenever an ally evades, they reduce their cooldowns by one turn. It sounds fun, but I think this is where they trap you, right? I know that CG wants me to spend my energy, therefore my crystals, therefore my money, on these data discs, which this one's going to cost me three dots, and it doesn't sound that great. Quick reflexes with a JTR setup, infinite dodge. Really? Are you, like, are you, sp are you trolling me right now, or is this true? Infinite dodge, infinite specials. Let me think about Ray Jedi training for a second. Um, ten buffs. Yeah, BB-8 throws up the Illuminated Destiny. Then they get foresight. They would have foresight anyway. Evasions reduce their cooldowns. But uh, okay, so you made this work. It's pure theory. Oh, don't trust you? Oh, okay. Wow, you almost had me there, man. <laughs> well, okay. Um, well, I'm thinking we just go in on power. Does everybody think power? Put a P in the chat for power and a Q in the chat for quick reflexes. We'll take a vote. What teams are these going to work with? Power is going to work with everybody. You need power. Um, unlimited power. <laughs> QR is better. Not sure if it's the extra dot better. Yeah, I'm not arguing with you yet. Like, the thing is, is I want to get as many data disks as possible that are going to help me into my thing without having to strip any out and spend my energy on it. 
Uh, I say QR for the hell of it. You just want me to lose Horizon, that's why you say QR. <laughs> okay, I have to empower. All right, I feel like I've got two power. <laughs> Horizon's vote doesn't count, and <laughs> we're gonna go power. Awesome. Let's go power and let's get into the next one. Yeah, see now we've got another sort of two slots for two dot data disks that we could put in here. Whereas if we put in a three, we'd only get like a one and a two or a couple of one or three ones. So I feel good about this decision. I feel good about power. All right. Back. We have finished sector one and we now have sector two. I feel like we have a little reward skis over here we can claim. Nothing in it yet. I feel like really they're pretty useless until you get to a crate. Alright, Sector 2. Controlled by the Night Sisters. And the Grievous in the middle. Alright, we're at Relic 5 teams now. A Yoda led Galactic Republic or a Padme led Galactic Republic. Hmm. I'm gonna lurk for a while, maybe even until the end of the stream, but oh well. Yeah, lurk, man. That's what we're here for. I'm here to hang out with you. <laughs> uh, okay. Just cleared the second one on normal for the first time. Excellent, JKF. Congratulations, man. Okay. I mean, I'm thinking about this way too much. It's inconsequential. Let's just let's just go this way because it's going to be easier. I don't want that protection from the. Are we are we sticking with Ray and the Jawas or what? <laughs> Is this the team we're rolling with for a while? Do it. Do it. Yes, do it. All right. <laughs> Looks like we're doing it. <laughs> All right, well, at least I have a Ray Jawa strategy set out now. What I'm going to do is I am going to bring up the taunt on whoever that was. Maybe Scavenger. I'm pretty sure it was this guy over here. Chief Nebit. And we're going to have Ray just keep this guy... Oh, actually, maybe I should put the initial ones over here. Yeah, we're going to go there first, because Nebit won't die first, I reckon. Oh, Nebit, don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong, Nebit. Yeah, you definitely would have been dead by now. Oh, okay, awesome. We've got the damage protection stuff over there. Okay. I can. I, I need to keep my Jaws alive because this is going to cost me tickets if I don't. So I'm not going to go with the big swing from Bray Skywalker. Hopefully that triggers some of you. <laughs> All right. Um... Who have we got here? This is the critical chance, right? Let's definitely get some of that up. Let's put some bombs down. Let's do that. And let's put the taunt up. Yeah! Ah, this is my strategy. It's gonna be... It's gonna be meta. This is the next meta. I'm gonna use this as my squad arena team. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, can I revive him? Oh, that only revives droids. I forgot. Oh no, my Jawas are dying. I feel terrible. I feel like I've let down this innocent little species of guys that were relying on on Ray Skywalker to keep them alive. And there we go. Ray was able, at least able to keep a couple alive. We have lifeblood. Lifeblood is the one that gives them the damage immunity, right? I did have that for a while, but then he lost it and he died. So. <laughs> yep, go back to working back. Okay. That's one battle down. Ah, one ticket. Guys, I can't do these Jawas anymore. I'm losing tickets. This is costing me. Alright. Here we go. Oh, man. Phoenix in Conquest. Is this the one-shot Garazed? Who was telling me about that? Because I want to be one-shot by Garazed. We're doing this. I don't care what's on the bottom. <laughs> We are doing it with a legit squad, because Phoenix are so OP in Conquest, they always have been, it's ridiculous, you're going to see how many times these guys go, just don't stop. Anyone who is still out there, 
Sabine Wren with Phoenix or Chopper? Jedi Knight Revan massacres them. In normal, at least. Yeah, nice. 100% Sabine, right? <laughs> yes, from Synovia. <laughs> um, Sabine, man. The Sabine Zeta ability is brilliant. Why does everyone go Chopper? Yes, and the Armor Shred. Alright. For that reason, I'm going to take out Sabine first. Second tank is the argument for Chopper. So I think if you're going defense in in some situation where you're still using your Phoenix squad, then, um, oh my god, look at the bonus turns these guys take. They've already dropped my gas. My gas is asleep. Death Chop off Sabine. Relic 5 Phoenix. Listen, I know somebody in our guild who has a Relic 5 Phoenix. And if it weren't, you know that Relic Phoenix squad actually held on our last territory war. <laughs> I shut my mouth. <laughs> it's definitely not me. I'll prove it. <laughs> um, who are we going to go? Over here. There goes Sabine. Awesome. Um, Ezra next. Nah, it's, it's not Chop, mate. It's got to be Sabine. It's got to be Sabine with the Zeta. Sabine's the only Zeta you need on a Phoenix team as well. Although I have on my Celestium account put a Zeta on Ezra, but let's not talk about that. Alright. <clears throat> um, we're going to take care of the one-shot Garazeb. There he goes. Bye, mate. Let's get some counterattacks. Come on, Gas. Why aren't you counterattacking? Beautiful. That's that. That's another Phoenix team down. Okay, more data discs. Oh, Caustic Emissions. Caustic. How do I say this? Caustic. Can you guys just type in the chat and let me know the pronunciation for Caustic Emissions? <laughs> That's like being asked to get the left-handed hammer. Every enemy... Uh, start again, come on. Enemy units gain two damage over time effects for two turns at the start of their turn, which can't be resisted. Caustic. Is it not cause tick? <laughs> you guys are brilliant, thank you. Ah, oh, we can have even more power. For a two dots. <laughs> Ah, oh, Leader's Resolve. This is really good for gas. The allied unit in the leader slot gains 66 max health and protection offense and 20% speed. And I think that's worth three dots. I suppose accent would need to be factored in. That's true. I've heard your accent, Horizon. <laughs> that would definitely need to be factored in. <laughs> um, it's got to be Leader's Resolve, right? Come on. Let's apply that. We only get one more one dot data disc to add to this little collection of ours from here on out. So we need to choose that wisely. Okay. Shall we do Bad Batch again? Or a Phoenix with a chopper in it? Who likes chopper? Unbelievable. Grab that one myself as a game changer. Which one? Oh yes, the um, the core the course tick emissions, the uh, caustic caustic emissions. KO's tick emissions. Yes. Great guard of this. Let's do Phoenix again. <laughs> so if um, Phoenix win this time, then the answer was Chopper. Although I think Sabine is in this team as well, so maybe it isn't. Yep. It's been. Don't mind me, I'm just letting the Admiral poison me a little bit more here. Cheers. Ugh. Ugh. My headphone wire is. Oh no, they've destroyed. Ga Look at Sabine popping off. She doesn't care. She doesn't care about anyone. She'll kill anyone. It's whether you're a tanker or a DPSer. If you play other games and. 
you know, there's all those different roles and stuff like that that you can have, like MMOs and stuff like that that I like to play, then you know about tank, you know about DPS, you know about healers. Oh my god, these Phoenix are destroying my gas team. Ah, Never go against the Phoenix in Conquest. <laughs> Look at this decimation. All right, here we go. Let's get some days on them and that will shut them down, surely. Yeah, look at that. Bonus attacks from Kana, do not worry me. All right, let's... Yes! Now we've got him. Thank you, Echo. All right, Ezra. Uh, let's take out Hera. We've obviously got no choice. Bam. Oh. I tell you what, man. If my Phoenix team and my actual squad list worked as well as the Phoenix team in this conquest, it would be... It would be my squad arena team. It's ridiculous. The the bonus turns and the turn meter feeding that they get out of this. Who has gone up against Phoenix and selected the Phoenix battle because they thought it would be easy and then been absolutely destroyed as a result? Tell me now and be honest. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love some piano. All right. I am going to ignore Padme's mechanics and just see if Gas can blast his way through them. This is a cool song. All right, Gas is dead. Not dead, but you know what I mean. He's being lazy. Okay, we got that taunt off on Anakin. This team has got so many assists in it. I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to destroy these guys. Take me with you. Ah, oh, listen to that sweet beat. That's mad. <laughs> it's weird, but it's cool. <laughs> okay, can we can we get somebody dead? No. Okay. What the hell? He's already down again. He only just got up. God, he likes to take breaks. I feel like General Anakin Skywalker works for the council. Does that... Does that not resonate with anybody else? <laughs> He's the ultimate council worker. When you drive past somebody doing roadworks, and they're... Like, say you drive past them at 10 in the morning, and they're chilling, just leaning against the barricade, looking at their phone, and then you drive back home a couple of hours later, and they're still leaning up against that bloody barricade looking at their phone. All the while you're doing 40 kilometers an hour through this friggin' 10 kilometer roadwork stretch. Oh, that, that gets me. Right in the veins and the arteries. Well, my gas team was destroyed by Padme, so that's awesome. Should we... Oh, I'm out of energy. All right, are you guys happy with that? Should we do more? What do you want to do? I don't want to... We've been going an hour and a half. I feel like this is pretty good. For... A very first stream. Again, let me... Just... I can't believe how many people came out of the woodwork and came and joined this stream. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. All of you are awesome and very, very much appreciated. It was so cool. We even got a donation. I can't, that just blew me away today. Um, I mean, I, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did too. I would love to continue, maybe put up a set schedule so we can agree to come and hang out here all the time. Um, I hope if you guys came in having a bad day, you're feeling better now and you're going to go away and have a better day because that would make me feel awesome and um we did a bit of conquest man we played around we did some uh we discovered the new meta good <laughs> day <laughs> we discovered the new meta with um the jar is picking up galactic legend raid yeah day well i don't know some people are american some people are new zealander but we don't hold that against them horizon all right <laughs> You're gonna have a better night. Speaking of the new meta, what have you got, buddy? <sighs> oh no. 
what what new clips. I don't, I don't even know if I want to know. <laughs> Are you leaving Zenobia? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Thank you for moderating. You are awesome. I really appreciate you. Alright, let me bring you back over here. So I can hang out with you guys a little bit more, do a debrief. Well, I, th I mean, that was cool. Did you guys like it? Did you guys enjoy this? Thank you so much for your follows. And for all of the chat, this chat was amazing. I really enjoyed it. We got to try out some cool new things. Um, I can't wait to make a YouTube thumbnail about the new Ray Java meta. Thank you, Zen. Cool first stream, thank you so much. Man, I I think this was cool. I, I want to do it again, so. I'm going to let you guys know when we're going to do it again. Thank you so much, Blas, and thank you for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Um, I want to do it again, so we're going to do it again. And I'm going to let you guys know when in all of my various things. The other thing that I have been giving some thought to on the horizon is building my own Discord channel where we can sort of hang out. Um, there, I can give you guys direct sort of information about streams, about YouTube videos, and all of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing up there. And I'd love to have all of my friends that I've met online in the one place and chatting and stuff like that and be able to give you guys all of the news and the updates and stuff like that about what I'm doing and what is happening. So if that is something that you think you'd be interested in, then definitely let me know. But other than that, I have had a blast and I hope you guys have had one too. And I cannot wait to do it again. But until the next time. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Peace out.